welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where it's almost time for the Horde and I'm somewhat scared, so uh, I'm just continuing to dig down and away from the entrance to my base, hoping that they go nowhere near that base, and therefore don't find their way down to me. That's, that's my sincere hope here. I'm also hoping that as I dig here, I'm actually going to find something useful. Hey, hello, what's going on here? I think... Seven. I was typing 9 instead of 7. What an idiot. Uh, I think I might have just dug something a bit wrong, but let's see. Yeah, I got a hit there, I think. Or is it there? <laughs> I can never tell. Digging down at these angles always does my head in, to be honest. Oh, there's the lightning. It's getting close to horde time. Yeah, that's where it's a good job I stopped digging where I was digging there. So I've actually modded this game. I was listening to um, a podcast earlier today, and uh, people on there were talking about the sort of things they'd like to change, and it got me into thinking, well, actually, you can change an awful lot in this game just by going in and using a, a text editor. So uh, I had a look. <coughs> Now, I had an infection yesterday, or sorry, today in this game, and uh, I had to use my antibiotics, and so now I am out of antibiotics. I also don't have any honey, and that's the horde starting up there now. See, I'm quite a distance from my base, so they should all come and just sort of cluster on this hillside. That's my theory. So I don't really want to head back that way because then they might discover the entrance and start hitting it. Yeah, I can hear them, but I can't hear them smashing anything as yet. Right, hang on. I've got... which way's up? That way's up. So that way's down. Let's get another torch down. There we go, and get that one, and get digging. Yeah, so it got me thinking, well, it would be nice if I could make honey a little easier to find. And so I just made a very, very tiny little modification. I went in and looked at the junk loot, basically, which is loot that you can pick up, you know, from rubbish, I think it's from rubbish bags that you find on the floor. And I added honey and food, actually, tinned food, into those. I didn't give them any sort of special chance to appear, so they're just like, they'll appear as often as a bone will, I think. It just means as well as looking in tree stumps for honey, where it's normally found, I'm also now able to just search rubbish bags that I've come across. So, it shouldn't make a huge difference, but it should make infections a lot easier to handle. If I get hit, I'm not just limited to... Oh boy. Um, tree stumps. And as you know, tree stumps you can't find everywhere, but you can find rubbish bags pretty much everywhere. So, that's what I'm hoping. I'll be able to start collecting honey that way. dig down so quick in this game. I just seem to um, put down a, a flaming brand and then suddenly I, I need to put down another one. And I've only, you know, hit a rock a few times. So it seems. Yeah, let's try that. Never quite sure. Usually in these sloped digs I end up having to put wooden ramps in to fill in the gaps I've ruined basically. I haven't ruined that yet. I'm also getting iron at this rate, which is quite nice. Spending the whole night down here, so that, that's a good thing. Actually, that's, that's a good point. I've got tons of wood and fibre, so what I should be doing here is improving my skills as well. Let's hit the stone axe. 16. Let's craft those while we continue to dig. So yeah, it got me excited. I was looking through all these XML files, which are just 
text files you can edit with Notepad. There's nothing particularly mysterious about them, if, especially if you've got any experience with XML. And uh, there's so much you can do. I was looking at the weapons. I could add uh, the fabled compound crossbow. That could be something I could add into the game myself. I wouldn't be able to add extra graphics, but I could chain, you know, create a recipe for the for the weapon that requires better items, and I could give it um, a special type of arrow as well, so it could shoot further, do more damage perhaps, but has a higher cost. It's, it's amazing you can just do all that. I mean, I've seen uh, a let's play where somebody had created a spear, but because there was no graphics for a spear, they basically just used the, I think it was just a shovel, but it acted like a spear, you know, it did damage like a spear rather than like a shovel. Look at that, I need to put another torch down again. It never ends. There we go, and pick up that one. Oh, half eleven. We're getting there, I need four more hours to go. Oh my giddy aunt. I do wonder if I should run this iron back up to my forge. I don't actually need to do that just yet. I think it might, as dead is dead in this game, it's probably not worth me trying it. Actually, have I got any pills on me? I have. So I'm going to use that and try and get my health back up. And drink. Oh, I've got a couple of points there of... Um, quality on the old stone egg, so that was worth doing. Ah, and there's my crossbow. Excellent. Let's just get that loaded up. Hey, I'm ready. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, let's carry on scrapping these. Yeah, if I go back up to where my forges are, they might smell the route in via the flat the trap door I got at the top so if I don't have to go over there I don't think I will I'm also thinking that I might spend the next few days in going on a long trip along the main roads looking for other towns and so forth because at the moment I've got, just got the one town near me and I'd like to find a workbench in a garage somewhere if I can Passing gases quite often have work wrenches in them. Because I've got a wrench, but it's not a very good wrench. And it's going to wear out pretty soon. And if I can get hold of a workbench, then get steel skills, then I'm in a position where I can create better wrenches and things. But I'm thinking I'll uh, spend the night down here hiding like a brave old survivor. Actually, what level have I got down to here on the map? Minus 36, so another 20 odd to get to bedrock. Hopefully, I'm going to find some iron soon. Oh man, my pickaxe is about worn out. Well, there you go, it's just wore out, just as I said it. Okay, so let's scrap that. Let's continue with the old stone axes. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might go on a long run, so I'll take a stack of water with me. I'll take a couple of tins of food as well and basically go on the run. Kill any animals, etc. Maybe take a pot with me as well and find somewhere to hide during the night on a rooftop somewhere perhaps. Um, or if not on a rooftop, then I'll dig down somewhere and just dig a hole in the ground. So this is going to be painful now, mining with a stone axe. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more hitting to get through with a stone axe. Oh, can I just... 
hit the wrong rock. I think I did. Never mind. It'd be nice if I could hit an iron vein about now. Because one of the reasons I'm hiding from the seven day hawk is that I haven't really got enough iron to make the the defences that I'd want to make. I want to put for a seven day hoard I like if possible to get a tall small square base and oh, still hit the wrong one. And then uh, put iron bars around the top so I've got something to stand on. Actually this isn't doing too bad this stone axe. It's not taking as long as I thought it might. Okay, so we've just passed one o'clock, so that's good. The horde should stop running around four, somewhere between four and six. At least that's my theory. Okay, I just realised what I should be doing here is crafting another 16 stone axes, because I'm going to wear this one out. I'll take the best one and scrap the other 15 when this one wears out. Assuming I'm going that long, of course. Might not be. Doesn't seem to be any sign of them breaking in, so I think that's a good sign. There we go. And I think it's time for another torch. going here so that's the one I want to hit there. I try to take out the top one then the bottom one. I think I make most of my mistakes in digging out the wrong bit of rock when I hit the bottom one first. I think. <laughs> As you can tell not an expert. I've learned quite a lot of recipes in this game but there's still a lot of things I can craft that I haven't tried yet. I really do want to try and make a nice house base. Perhaps separately a nice wooden house and like a horde night base some distance away from it. I mean in most of my game plays what I've actually done is try and defend my actual house. And I think that's fairly problematic because it means you put all your what's the word, your forges and everything and a house is usually quite big so you end up trying to defend quite a wide area. Whereas with a horde base you can, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that clever, that complicated. Um, and you can just go there of the horde night to avoid uh, the worst as it were, from damaging and destroying your house. Of course you still need defences around your house because of the uh, wandering nighttime zombies anyway. There we go. How are we doing? I think it's time for another torch. Keep on digging. Actually we must have gone down a few now. Minus 39, okay. I think the bottom is minus 52, something like that, so there's not a chance of me getting there tonight. Oh, my guy's getting hungry now. So let's um, scrap that. Let's eat that. Let's scrap that. Let's eat that. This 190 I'm using is just about dead, so let's scrap everything except 195. Hitting those cactuses on the last couple of days out has really paid off in getting me fibres, which are really handy for making these stone axes of a night. Obviously I'm mining, so I get in plenty of stone in that regard. But, uh, Yeah, I'm wondering if I should try and save the yuccas now, even as I eat them. I think I have to stick with them for now, because I don't want to go back closer to the entrance into this base. But this is actually a, a really good way of spending your first few horde nights. 
well away from the danger basically. If you're new to the game, maybe it's your first playthrough, this is a really good way of um, surviving past that first first couple of hordes before you get used to the game, before you've got all the weapons etc that you need. Let's get um, another 16 of these going. So I'll have one ready for when I've finished digging here. So this is has got to be one of the most boring horde nights for people to watch, but you know what? I still find it entertaining. There's something about mining in this game that gives you a level of satisfaction. I think some of it is the fact that when you first start and you try to hit a rock like I'm doing here with a stone axe, it literally takes forever and you're hopeless, you're really poor at it. But you can feel and see the numbers, you can see your skills improving, you can get better I was nearly said weapons, but tools, you can get better tools. And so you feel that improvement progressing, you feel like it's worth this grind as such, because the game gives you that feeling of satisfaction. Ah, you see, look, I've just fell down the gap. I've screwed up somewhere. I just... Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when I do that. Ah, oh, screwed up again. I always do that in these down slopes. It's annoying because when you try to run quickly down these slopes, you've got to you get a little hiccup when you hit the wooden ramp. Well, pretty much destined to happen, to be honest. Oh, man. Let's get I seem to have got myself stuck now. I've dug, I've dug it too deep, it seems. Okay, so wood is it wood ramp? I bet it's wooden. Is it frame? Let's try frame. Cobblestone. Whoa. Wood frame ramp. That's what I want. Let's get f five of those going. And I might as well scrap this. 195 and use a 200 now. Okay, so let's get him down here and him over here. And turn it round. Will I be able to tell? That looks about right. Can I bring it up more? It's, it's like it's in the wrong place. Yeah, now it blocks me. So I haven't got that quite right. There. There's still a jump. Even though I'm standing on the ramp, I still have a jump. Ay ay ay. This is so hard to see. Where did that go? Seems to have stuck itself. Come on, up, get up, get up. Oh, let's try it. Can I put it there? Okay, that might make things a little more seeable. Yeah, I've totally pooched it. Totally pooched it. Um, let's just try and make a little bit more room here might make things a little clearer as to what's happened. I hate this. I hate the fact that I keep doing this wrong in every game I play. I can never get the slope right. I try and I try. Uh, you see that's horizontal now, isn't it? Not down. So I've gone wrong again. Aye, aye, aye. That might be why the ramp's playing up, to be honest. You see, that ramp looks alright, so why is that playing up? Does that make it easier? Uh, 
I don't get it. Let's try hitting it from here anyway. Another thing I can I can never remember. If the zombies stop running, the horde ends at four, or does the horde end at six? I've been caught out, and so I'm like always overly cautious now, I think. A little too cautious, perhaps. But look at me, I'm using a 200 quality stone axe now. I've made progress. So what the hell is happening with this ramp? Let's pick it up. Let's try putting in another one from here. See, that's obviously too high. And that seems too low. Okay. There's the timer. And there's me wondering what the hell's going on. So you've got a lovely smooth ramp there, but... Oh, I can make the jump now. But I do have to jump. I don't get it. Maybe if I... Yeah, I shouldn't have to knock out the ceiling, though. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a thing. The ceiling's higher here than it is here. I've missed a ceiling out somehow, and that's probably what's pushed me down. That could be it, actually, because I didn't knock out the ceiling. That's what's made me start angling downwards. Darn it. Okay, I think we'll uh, end the most boring horde night ever just here, ladies and gentlemen. And... Uh, it's only another hour or so, I'll carry on digging down, but in another hour or so I'll start my preparation for the long run that I'm planning. I uh, still can't do it, I've got to jump there. That is so annoying now. Ay, ay, ay. And I don't understand why. If I knock out another block, how's that going to help? Is it just going to aggravate and make it worse? I don't know. That's for me to play with, and you guys... We'll find out at some point in the future when I come back. See you soon. Bye.